Illinois State University Fabrication and Wedding Technology Laboratory. My name is Anka Jetro. I'm a student, I'm a 300 level student of Penn State University, Makuri, in the Department of Vocational and Technical Education, Faculty of Education. I'm here to carry out a practical demonstration on the topic joint. Before I carry out my practical, I would like to highlight safety precautions taken in the workshop. In fabrication and welding section, Wedding safety precaution is very, very primacy. As regards when wedding, you must have what is called a wedding sheet. A wedding sheet is used to protect your eyes when wedding, in order not to be affected with the wedding rays. And another one here is hand groups. You use it when wedding, especially when wedding hot metals. And you, will use it, you will use it in such a way that the spatters will not fall on your hand. And you use a hard sole safety boot so that you will not be wounded on metals. And for me to do my practical, the material which I'm going to use now is what is called flyer. It's used for holding hot metals. I'm going to use a square used for taking square net and what is called hard saw frame slash let's put it on put that on it and tip. So now I'm carrying out my piece of metal is a 1.5 thickness mm angle bar. And this is a 2.5 mm thickness plate metal. And this one here is 3 mm thickness metal. And here is what is called a wedding regulator or wedding machine. I'm going to set it according to the thickness of the material I'm going to use. This is on. Two, three is on four voltage. That is the voltage I'm going to use to wear my joints. Before I proceed, a joint, a joint is a place where two or more lines, metal, wood members, plastic intersect. And there are basic types of joints, though we have many, but I want to consider the basic one, which is lap joint, butt joint, T joint, H joint, and then corner joint. But for the purpose of time, I'm going to carry out three types of joints. The first one, I have to consider is what is called edge joint. And here are the materials here. I'm going to put it here. And I will now carry my wedding sheet. Put it on top of my head. Cover it. I will carry my hand glues. Put it for safety precaution. I will now carry my electrode handle. And this is a wedding or a working table. It's connected with a positive wire, and this one here is a negative wire. I will not cover my wedding sheet. I open the dark space here so that I can see and do my task wedding. I will not strike my electro first before I apply it on my wedding metal. I 
I will now attack the I will now attack the other end. The edge joints, the two metals are now joined edge to edge. I'll put it back. I use my drive. Cover back my wedding spec. I will see that my electric. I'll be running my wedding field. I'm through with the running of my wedding beach, and these metals now that form what is called edge joint. Another joint that I'm going to do now is placed in a flat position like this. I still come back my wedding sheet. What's the name of the joint? What's the name of the joint? Back joint. I'll cover back my wedding sheet, open the dark one, so that I can be able to tap. Tap wedding. I will start my electrode. Start it here. Now, the, all the two metals are now in a flat and the same shape. What I will do now is I will run a straight bead on the edge of the two metals. Because the metal, the metal is very hot, I cannot use my hand to hold it. I would rather use like to hold it. And this is what is called a bat joint. Two metals are joined together, edge to edge, in a flat surface or flat shape. Another joint that I'm going to produce now is what is known or called T joint. It is another metal. I can call it a base metal. Carry this one put at the top of it. I'll make sure that the up metal is in the middle of the down metal. I will strike my electrode as well as here. And I make sure that this thing is in the square shape. The up metal there. It's in the square shape. So now it's in the square It's not in the square shape. I will still adjust it. I will still adjust it. It is now in the square shape. I'll put it back. Carry my wedding tone. And start running. A full wedding beat on it. I'm 
I'm going to use my plier to hold it. And this is what is called a T joint. One metal overlap this side, another one overlap that side, and the other one is put in the middle of it. And this is the shape of a T joint. Having done with the three types of joints, I will now turn off my wedding machine because it is very, very risky. leaving the wedding machine on after wedding. And I will make sure that the electron handle is not put on the ground. I will hang it back on the wedding table. I love you as at home. I would have done all the five basic joints but because of time i'll do the remaining two in my next episode and my advice to you is when doing all these things make sure that the people around you are well protected you should not wear in a place where people around you will be looking at it and at the end of the day they will have an eye. Thank you. God bless you.